What is happening guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got another big review to talk about today. Big in the sense like it's some pretty awesome stuff that we're talking about and also big in the sense that we got a lot to talk about today. The salon guy has released some new products and yes, I know I was thinking it myself actually saying the salon guy has released new products is becoming like a regular phrase nowadays. I mean this dude has just been slaying it lately with all these new awesome products and today I do have all the details for you on all the new stuff and the updated stuff in this brand new review. Alright, so what we're talking about today is a couple new releases from the Salon Guy and an update to a past cleansing duo. The new releases include the Hustle Grooming Clay, the Fleek Smooth and Shine Repair Spray, and the Volume Shampoo and Conditioner Set. Now the updates that came is actually to the Pure Protein Shampoo and Conditioner Duo, and let's talk about this first because it's the easiest to explain. I'm told by Steven the Salon Guy himself that the updates to this really was was from past concerns involving silicones. Now, when I first heard about this, I kind of laughed a little bit and I told Steven on the phone that if it were my product, I wouldn't have changed it for something like that. But I, I you know, I definitely understand why he did. I don't personally get the whole silicone deal myself, but I do think this turned out really well because when Steven asked his lab to remove the silicones, he also took the opportunity to make improvements and that's the real story here. Instead of just talking your head off here, I'm just gonna show you the results I get with the new formula. When it comes to using it initially with the shampoo, I didn't really feel much of a difference, honestly. It still cleans the exact same way and just as good as before I found. The change really comes in when you get that conditioner in your hair and when you do you begin to get a big sense of how soft they made this new formula to be and you might be able to see it here I mean I know I can easily I think the softness has easily doubled it's even more luscious than before and it's really just something you have to either see to believe or experience to believe now I told Steven this on the phone yesterday I'm gonna tell you guys the, the same thing here I really enjoyed the original pure set you guys already know that I really enjoyed that cleansing duo duo and if you would have asked me how to improve it back then I wouldn't have really known what to say I would have probably said nothing it's great it works just fine for me but now that I've used this and seen that it's made my hair even softer even more luscious I can't even think about that old formula and that's not hype that's not me you know I'm this isn't a, a sponsored video you know I'm not being paid to say anything I just I, I see results and I share results that's that's essentially it but I just really need to keep things rolling along here so now let's shift over to the hustle grooming clay according to the brand the new hustle grooming clay was inspired by Steven's 10 years of hustling in business he wanted this grooming clay to be extremely easy to style with and a true set it and forget it type product it offers a light to medium hold a delayed matte finish and a smooth blended scent it also comes in the standard line size of 3.5 ounces for $23.99 US looking inside the jar here we have at face value you a consistency that kind of reminds me of the clutch clay it's very smooth but it's still thick and nice and creamy in the scoop and breakdown and it's within that breakdown that I can sort of predict how easy this is gonna apply moving right along here let's just go straight into the demo I'm using this of course in clean blow-dried hair and as I add in the first scoop I was a hundred percent right I think about this application it just glides right into the hair with no resistance at all there's no tug nothing in that regard because really it's not that sticky of a product it's much more slick but that thickness actually provides a great deal of control so I think it's a nice trade-off hold wise I do feel like it's right around a solid medium and you can really see that as we begin combing you'll also probably notice that there is a bit of shine there we will talk more about that later but for now the styling is actually pretty easy it's very responsive and I have to say it's pretty much styling itself here now in regards to that shine what we have here is something kind of like what we saw with 
pregame where the shine was there in the beginning and then it kind of shifted later in the day. For those of you that saw that video, this is how it kind of goes here too. So let's start by taking a look at the finish around two hours after styling. You can see here that the finish has lifted to a nice medium finish and you can actually see some texture has kind of developed there as well. But let's keep going here. This is four hours in. We have everything looking just as good in my opinion. None of that hold is really lifted at all, which is super nice. And everything looks pretty good in my opinion here. But let's keep this going here and check in at eight hours. And if you can believe it, it still looks really good. And you can see that here as I begin to restyle. You can see that the hold is still solid. And you can see that as I begin to restyle. You can see the style is kind of tightening back up, becoming more clean cut. And then I can mess it up again, showing that there's still a lot of hold here after eight hours. Now, as usual, I am going to save my final thoughts for the end of the video, but first let's go ahead and shift over to our last couple of products, starting with the volume cleansing set. And I have to say this is pretty easy to understand. This is a cleansing set that gives you volume. It's designed to clean, of course. I mean, that's a given, but it's also designed specifically to give you volume. And it does this by utilizing botanical extracts and rice proteins to create volume and make it nice and smooth in the process. Using it here too, I can tell you the shampoo, once again, feels like a shampoo. In this stage, it's hard to really find something different as it, you know, it's, it's cleaning the hair. That's really it. But the conditioner does feel different. Again, it's all in the conditioner here. It almost absorbs into the hair and it kind of feels like it's evaporating. Maybe it's, it's not a bad feeling. It's just, it's just different, but check out these results. I mean, yeah, I was pretty surprised to see this myself the first time I used it. I mean, look at that volume. This is not a trick. I just blow dried my hair as I normally do. I didn't add anything to it. And this is what came out of it. I mean, I really couldn't believe the amount of volume I got from this stuff, but let's keep this going here and talk now about the fleek spray here. This is our last product of the video to look at. This here is designed to help repair hair that's been damaged. It's not the same as 25 spray, which is designed to be used all the time in your styling routine where this is more designed to help in instances where your hair feels dry. Maybe it's fried from color or maybe you stared at a bottle of sulfates too long. Who knows? But this is designed to help fix it. Using it is also pretty straightforward. All you do is you spray it throughout your hair, obviously, and then you comb it through and then it's recommended that you blow dry it in. And here's what I got after doing that. I think it definitely looks good. It's not, again, as soft as I think it would be with the 25 spray, but it still feels good and it doesn't look weighed down or oily, which is a solid plus. So I really think it does help as far as nourishing and maintaining health. So now that we've talked about everything, we've gone through all the products here, let's go back over to the Hustle Grooming Clay and talk washout and scent. This was really simple for me. It was really easy. It just rinsed out with just water. It gave me zero trouble with the washout. I thought that was super easy and that's pretty much it. The scent too. Let me tell you, oh man, this scent is fantastic. It's got a ton of notes to it. And I'm told that they did a lot of testing in order to find this scent, but I think they did a really great job. It was a great choice. It's very fresh. It's not overbearing at all. It doesn't really obstruct anything in the hair as far as like having it in your face all day. Oh God, it just smells so good. It's like super fresh, but it's not super strong. Ugh, love that type of scent. Love that type of scent. Bring it all together though. I do really feel like the hustle clay. I, I kind of feel like it's a cross between pregame and the clutch clay with that nice hold and that finish shift throughout the day. It really made that shift from that small shine into the matte finish, just like we saw with pregame. I do think clutch probably has more texture and more hold overall. And as far as performance goes, I, I think it did really well. I mean, it practically styled itself. And if you can get away with using a good medium hold, I think this will work for you. If you're someone that needs a ton of hold though, I mean, it does only have about a medium. I'd say it's not even a light. I'd say it's a solid medium. So if you need, you know, a heavy hold, firm hold, it's not going to provide that. I do think though that kind of that little bit of shine, the nourishing value is going to be great for people with curly hair or wavy hair because it's going to help tame that. For the others, the pure set here, I, I love it. I think it's very well done. It makes my hair feel incredible. And for those that didn't know, this is also a DHT blocker for hair loss prevention. And it's good for helping things like dry scalp and minus that huge volume. That's really the main difference between it and the volume set that we looked at. Also, for those that are afraid of silicones, 
it's no longer in the formula. But speaking of the volume set, let's transfer over to that real quick here. The volume set, the difference between that and pure, really easy. This is meant for volume. Pure is meant to make your hair feel awesome. That's the bottom line. As for fleek, I also think this is pretty good. I mean, it's cool that it's there to help repair damaged hair and help out if there's a need for it. I mean, I, I see some of you guys comment a lot asking for help fixing your hair, like it's overly dry or damaged or something like that. I do think this is cool that it's there, but when it comes down to it for me, I prefer the 25 spray. But that's pretty much it. If you would like to check out these or any of the products from the Salon Guy, a link will be in the description for you guys. And as usual, if you enjoyed this review, like, comment, subscribe, all the major stuff. Make sure you do that for me. And thank you very much for stopping by the channel today and checking out this video. I will of course be back to you guys again very soon with that big giveaway and a live demo of the new wax from By the Lane. I'll be back with that in a couple of days actually so make sure you look out for that. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.